In prayer, more is accomplished by listening than by talking. Hello, my friends, and welcome to True Heroes. Today, we're going to look at the life of St. Jane Frances de Chantel, who was the founder of the Order of the Visitation. It was said that when she was only five years old, she was arguing against a Calvinist nobleman and using arguments that were far beyond what should have been her intellectual capacity. And when he offered her a little present, she immediately threw it into the fire, saying, quote, This is how heretics will burn in hell, because they do not believe Christ when he speaks. Unquote. At the age of 16, she already, a motherless child, was placed under the care of a very worldly-minded governess. In this difficulty, she offered herself to the Mother of God and secured Mary's protection for her life. When a Protestant asked, her, asked to marry her, she refused, saying, quote, I refuse to marry an enemy of God and his church. Unquote. And shortly afterwards, she married the Baron de Chantel and made her house the pattern of a Christian home. Her generosity in relieving the necessities of the poor was very great, and more than once, God miraculously multiplied her possess- possessions so that she could give more. On this account, she promised never to refuse anyone who begged an alms in Christ's name. Two children and a dearly beloved sister died, as well as her husband, who was accidentally killed by a friend while hunting. She immediately forgave the friend, and as a sign of this forgiveness, accepted to be the godmother of the son of this same friend. For seven years, the sorrows of her widowhood increased by mean servants and evil friends who urged her to marry again. Harassed almost to despair by their entreaties, she branded on her heart the name of Jesus and in the end left her beloved home and children to live for God alone. Oh, they mean this literally. She took a red-hot iron and branded the name of Jesus on her breast. So she actually literally branded her heart with the name of Jesus. It was on the 19th of March, 1609, when she bade farewell to her family and relations, including her 15-year-old son and her rather old father, who did eventually give his blessing for her departure. Having learned the will of God from St. Francis de Sales, her director, she founded the Institute of the Visitation of Our Lady, and she observed the rule with great strictness for herself, and so great was her love of poverty that she rejoiced to be in want of even the necessaries of life. Wishing for still greater merit in her heart, she bound herself by a very difficult vow, which was to always to do what she thought was more perfect. Sickness, opposition, want beset her, and the death of her children and her friends were followed by the death of St. Francis de Sales himself. Though during these painful years, she managed to establish 87 houses of the visitation. Nine long years of sorrow completed the work of God's grace, and in her 70th year, St. Vincent de Paul saw at the moment of her death, her soul ascend as a ball of fire to heaven, and St. Francis de Sales coming to meet her. She died on the 13th of December in the year 1641. Miracles having made her famous, both before and after her death, Benedict XIV placed her among the blessed, and Pope Clement XIII among the saints. Pope Clement XIV commanded her feast to be celebrated by the Universal Church. From the life of St. Jane Francis, let us ask our Lord to help us to have the same detachment from the world. 
Uh, we may not go so far as to become monks or nuns, in which we literally renounce everything we have, but let us recognize that the important thing is Christ in our life. Even if we do live a life where there are many riches and possessions, let us recognize Christ is the most important thing, and that if we are to be asked to be give, give up everything we have, that we'd be willing to do so. Tomorrow is the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I am not sure if I will have time to make a podcast. I kind of doubt it, actually. So maybe we'll do something tomorrow, maybe not. If we do not do anything tomorrow, then the next time we'll talk will be on the Feast of St. Philip Benizi, who lived in Florence and entered the Order of the Servites and eventually became the superior of that order. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. St. Jane Francis de Chantel, pray for us.